Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. I've just been over here in Folkestone. I cut myself a costa. I didn't come all the way over here just for the cappuccino. Although it's really worth it. No, I came over here to do a little bit of Blu-ray and DVD hunting. And I picked up some bits. Nothing from CEX, but charity shops and DVDs. What is going on? Okay, let's see what I picked up then. Not the dog poo on the floor that I nearly stood in. Okay, now as some of you are aware, for the last couple of years I've been taking the mickey out of DVDs. You know, DVD. Eh, that's so old-fashioned. What are you living in the dark ages? It's all been done in jest, it's all jokey, as a lot of you know. And for anybody that actually took it seriously, seriously? <laughs> yes, and I must say, um, I've got James Millership to blame, yes, Jim Jam, for my recent reinterest in DVDs, because I've been Blu-ray hunting and 4K hunting, I very rarely look at DVDs, only like charity shops, and usually I'm just looking for the Blu-rays. I'm looking for the Blu-rays. That's right, make a song out of it. And I kind of like shimmy off the DVDs. But there's one thing to be said about DVDs, although they may be, oh, this bloke coming to look to see if I've got a ticket on my car. Yes, mate, I've got a ticket on my car, NCP. What was I talking about? Bloody hell, made me lose my train of thought now. Uh, it's windy out, but it's muggy. How did we get onto the weather after talking about DVDs? Yes, uh, Blu-rays, charity shops, 4Ks, DVDs. Okay, yes, uh, I never bothered looking for DVDs in the past in charity shops. The only DVDs I would come across would be like the cheap Bruce Willis, Nicolas Cage ones that you'd find in the supermarkets and the wind is blowing my car like you wouldn't believe but let's not let's not get off track and it's because of mr millership with his going out to charity shops and his dvd hunting picking up stuff and also with jason brett as well he's been picking up some some dvds from charity shops it's kind of like re-energized my re-interest in dvds yes it may be a inferior format so to speak with current technology but really you've got to love it you've got to love you've got to love dvd why wouldn't you not love dvd when you still love laser discs and we still love vhs yes like i say they're inferior but it's what we grew up with it's what we collected and just because it's like old doesn't mean you have to discard it. I mean, I have a lot of DVDs for TV shows uh, and I'm perfectly happy with them. And uh, from the chair, my good friend and uh, fellow subscriber sent me a load of TV shows on DVD, which I'm trying to make my way through. Uh, I'm going through Love Thy Neighbour at the moment and <laughs> you'd never make that now. No way would you make that now. The same as Little Britain and... and uh, stuff like that come fly with me you'd never get away with making that now but dvds are going to be here for a long time they are the dominant market on the physical media and you can buy some really good titles and deleted gems rarities it's all about hunting and um, i'm enjoying going around charity shops looking you know I'll see the Blu-rays, I'll go through the Blu-rays, but I will spend time, I will spend half an hour standing in the charity shop going through the DVDs. If there's some, shut it car, if there's something that piques my interest, I'll check it out, check the cover out, make sure it's not too damaged and check the disc. That is the thing, whenever you buy a DVD, whether it's from a charity shop or a boot fair or whatever, always check the discs. Uh, because I did check a couple of discs today in the British Heart Foundation. And, oh my God. 
I don't even know how that disc is still in one piece. <laughs> yes, but DVDs, like I say, we all grew up on DVDs, most of us. I collected laser discs as soon as DVD came out in 1996, late 96, 97. I was already on it. Uh, I made a special trip to London to the uh, the shop up on Shaftesbury Avenue, the pioneer shop that had a bit downstairs. I bought my very first DVD player, uh, which cost me about 900 quid in 1996, uh, the Panasonic A100, which is in my uh, storeroom. So I will show you that eventually. It was an American import because no one in the UK had ever heard of DVD before, which I'll go on to in, another, in a minute as well. Funny story. You might have heard, it, heard of it before. Uh, they also stocked the DVDs in this shop in London as well, and they were about £35 each because, of course, they're imports and they were quite expensive. And I think I got into DVDs. There was only about 25 DVDs in existence. That's it. Right at the very beginning. Uh, and I even used to visit a shop in Faversham, which used to sell laser discs and DVDs. I'd go up there every week pick up the latest DVDs, uh, you know, stuff. Oh, it's so exciting buying these DVDs because we'd only ever seen them on VHS and this was a brand new format. It was so exciting seeing these shiny little discs and, and knowing that you've got menus and special features and things like that. So even though I've joked about DVDs over the year, the DVD still has a really, really important part in my... Uh, uh, physical media growing uh, and a, a, a part in my in my heart as well so it's it's never gonna go even though I prefer blu-rays and 4ks there's always gonna be a special place special place in my life for DVDs yes so let's not let's not shit all over them and say they should have stopped making DVDs years ago if it wasn't for DVD we wouldn't have blu-ray we wouldn't have 4k and physical media may have been dead years ago if they'd stopped making DVDs and there was nothing to replace it. Could have been the end of physical media. But anyway, I've been waffling on for seven minutes. Oh yeah, the, the quick thing that I was going to tell you about uh, DVDs. How many times, has anybody counted how many times I've said the word DVD in this video? <laughs> Stick it in the comments. You might win yourself a DVD. <laughs> um, oh, cross! I forgot what I was going to say now. Yes, HMV in London, in... Is it Piccadilly? Where Virgin and Towie Records used to be. I think that's Piccadilly, that, that, that area. I went into that HMV once, and I said to them, um, when are you due to get DVDs in? And he looked at me like... What? And yes, I continue to go in that HMV for probably less about nine months to a year every every month or every couple of months dvd never heard of it never heard of it um and then uh, all of a sudden uh, in 1997 dvd was introduced into the uk but it took a long time for it to uh, emerge i think it was about a year later or something and uh, and a brand new shiny format was born and uh, the rest is history yes anyway so i have waffled on a little bit too long i'm sure you want to know what the hell i picked up i did go in a couple of shops i went in i went into cex uh they got a lot of blu-rays in there but there wasn't anything that i was really interested in picking up uh i never tend to look for dvds in cex because i know they're gonna look like crap you've got a better chance of picking up a clean dvd in a charity shop than you have in cex uh, that's right. Uh, so I went into uh, Pilgrim's Hospice and I went into British Heart Foundation and I went into Cancer Research. I picked up three, I think, from the Cancer Research. Yes. DVDs! Look, DVDs! DV Hang on, let's, let's pose for the thumbnail because I don't want to give the titles away. So look... So that's going to say down here, DVDs, charity shops. Oh. <laughs> right, okay, so the first one I picked up, uh, two of these were a quid each, and then one was £1.50. So this one I picked up, I saw many years ago. Oh, go away. 
bloody seagulls. What is it? Do I smell like a bleeding donut to you or something? Bugger off. Yes, I picked this one up. Uh, I sent this film many years ago. I saw it at the cinema. I don't have it on Blu-ray. Uh, maybe the quality will be really good on, on Blu-ray. I don't know. But for a quid, it's a film that I want to re-watch. So I picked up The Lawnmower Man. Yes. All about cutting the grass. <laughs> this is Jeff Fahey, or Fahey and Piers Brosnan. This is the 10th anniversary edition. Bloody hell, that's ages ago. Uh, all virtual reality. Look, it's got 5.1 Dolby Surround. And uh, let's have a look inside. See, well, we've got one disc. Like I say, I haven't seen this in many years. The disc is absolutely flawless. Minty fresh, as some people say. So, yes, I am looking forward to re-watching this, and I don't care that it's only one pound. Um, yeah, I really don't. I'm not bothered. I just realised something. This is actually 4x3 full screen. This is not widescreen. Okay. <laughs> of course, I, I keep forgetting that back in the day when dvds come out they released two versions there was a widescreen version and a full screen version i completely forgot that they actually did that it's like what yeah anyway it's a full screen version for how much a quid so uh we'll give that one a go we'll watch it again what makes me laugh is the bottom dazzling special effects even better than terminator 2 yeah <laughs> maybe not but anyway that's the Lord Mower Man in 4x3 <laughs> oh dear uh, this one I picked up I have never seen this film this is by Neil Marshall from the director of Dog Soldiers it's the scariest British horror film in 20 years I've heard some people talking about this but I've never watched it this is The Descent the most significant Brit chiller since 28 Days Later this is actually still factory sealed. Uh, it was a pound, it's a one disc edition. Uh, this is in widescreen, I believe. Yeah, two by 35 by one. 95 minutes and Dolby Digital 5.1 and DTS. So, fantastic. Yeah, so, oh, bloody hell. 18 certificate, certificates contain strong bloody horror. Yeah, so I like Neil Marshall. Neil Marshall did, what's that one that was out in the desert? Was it with Rona Mitra? Death, no, not Death Race. Can't remember it. I've got it on Blu-ray as well. Doomsday. I think he did Doomsday. Um, Decent. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to watching that one, actually. And the last one I picked up uh, was actually the first one I picked up in the shop. Eddie Murphy. Um, I can't remember if I bought this on 4 Did I buy the first one on 4K? I might have actually bought the first one on 4K, but I saw this, all three of them, for £1.50. This is the complete Beverly Hills Cop collection. So this is all three films in one DVD package. All three films on there. Uh, I really don't remember much about the, the other two films. Uh, although the only scene that sticks in my mind of Beverly Hills Cop 3 is George Lucas in a theme park. That's all I remember about Beverly Hills Cop 3. But uh, we get a nice little Paramount flip out, flip out. And we have three discs. Very nice. And what, do you know what, when I was going through this, because I was going through them in there. So we've got Beverly Hills Cop. Absolute mint. Beverly Hills Cop 2. Absolute mint. And I bet you can't guess what the quality like on Beverly Hills Cop 3. Absolute mint. That's right. Absolute mint on all three. And that was £1.50. So whether or not I decide to buy the Blu-ray box set eventually, I'll check out the other two films again, watch them again, see if they're worth watching. So yes, three DVDs cost me £3.50. Uh, what's that, six? That's eight films. That's eight films for £3.50, so that's pretty good. Is it? Eight films? You can't bloody count, Paul. That's three. 
three, four, that's five films. <laughs> How did you get eight films? Anyway, yes, Beverly Hills Cop, uh, the uh, complete lineup, it's called. And The Descent and The Lawnmower, Lawnmower Man. So yeah, I'm happy with those. I'm not going too over the top yet with the uh, with the uh, the DVD buying, but I will be looking a lot more in uh, for DVDs, and hopefully I'll be doing a lot more DVD charity shop hunting, just like James does, because uh, you never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to find. Do you know what? I never get that. You know that Forrest Gump saying, "Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get." You do. Because if you open up the flap, it tells you exactly what chocolates are inside. I never understood that. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Right, let's have a sip of my coffee. And let's go home. I'm only going to be at home for about an hour or so. Uh, because then I have got to drive up to Maidstone, to Lulu and Claire's. And we are going to see the Suicide Squad in iSense. So I am really looking forward to that. Let's stick the air conditioning on because it's muggy out. Put my seatbelt on because we don't want to get stopped. Fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe. A woman over there wondered what the hell I was doing by doing that. <laughs> Stick down in the comments. Have you picked up any recent goodies in charity shops? Whether it be Blu-rays, 4Ks or DVDs. Stick it down in the comments. Uh, what's your most cherished pickup from a charity shop what's the biggest surprise the one that gobsmacked you when you saw it and uh, yeah i'll see you on the next video which will probably be me lulu and claire talking about suicide squad uh, for five minutes on a review and then we'll fling on about absolute shit for about half an hour so until the next video bye